Hi, welcome back to the MyGrow YouTube channel. My name is Shane, the founder of MyGrow. This video, we're gonna look at a brand new light that I got recommended by a customer to test. Got it here, it's called a ledhydroponics.co.uk, that's the company name. And the model is called a Skyline 200 Full Spectrum Mark II. So it's got uh, two panels on it. It's very like a street light uh, panel configuration. Uh, two of these guys bolted together. Lots of little individual LEDs here with a plastic lens. So individual lensing on the LEDs um, on the front. And yeah, two panels bolted together. Passive heatsink, no fans. And you got your uh, driver mounted onto the back there. So quite neat, very sturdy, feels very well built. And uh, yeah, nice construction. All it's got then is the power lead off from it. Switch around here. So there we go. That's the fellow there. So I hung the light over the test canopy and used the Asensitec Passport, our spectra radiometer to test the spectrum. The, tech, the spectrum is pretty standard. So it is a full spectrum LED. It's three and a half thousand color temperature, three and a half K color temperature, which is bog standard full spectrum uh, uh, output. So very nice, nothing to quibble about there. A little spike on the red, which I'm never um, convinced by, but in any case, this, uh, the next the most important thing obviously was the, the power output test. Um, so the badge is a 200 watt, consumes 96 watt, which was a bit of a, a surprise to me. So did the standard measurement, uh, dropped it to 29 centimeters over the um, test area. Calibra that was calibrated by limiting the center point measurement to a thousand par. So dropped it until it was a thousand. And then took 36 measurements on a 90 by 90 centimeter grid. Uh, with our Apogee SQ500 power sensor. The total result, so the total power output over that area is 133 PPFD. The light is badged as a 2.3 um, PPF per joule, or that's power output per watt of light. Measured onto the test area, I'm afraid it was... 1.38 so not really that great at all and a bit of, bit of a disappointment considering this light is priced higher than the Migro, higher than the Mars Cobb, Hydro Cobb, uh, looking for other ones, certainly higher than the HLG, certainly higher than the Optic, a uh, bit of a disappointing result really. So on our board where does it go? It squeezes in just over HPS and just under a Gavita. So, yeah, it's official. It's less efficient than a, a good setup HPS system. So, I don't know what you'll think of that one, guys, but uh, please let me in the, know in the comments below. And as always, any other lights you want to test, any other subject you want covered, Please let us know and we'll do our best. Take care. Bye.